I literally have no motivation to do anything. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's really gray and rainy outside. And so all of my classes were like put onto Zoom today, which thus means let's go to the bookstore. No, actually my motivation and my mental health has just been on like a steady <whistles> over the past couple weeks. And I literally have not felt like doing anything but like staring at a wall and watching paint dry. However, the one thing that I am always down to go do is go to Barnes and Noble. And I actually have to go anyway because I started reading Pride and Prejudice. Well, I started listening to Pride and Prejudice on audiobook because I travel so much. And now I just wanna finish the rest of the book, but I want it in um, a tangible format. So I have to go and get that anyway. But I'm gonna make it into like a little book haul. And we're calling it a book haul, but it's not really gonna be a book haul because I am a broke college student and thus I can only afford like two books. However, over the course of the past couple weeks, I have either like bought on Amazon or have like gone to the bookstore and only bought one book. Um, so it's kind of like a series of little books to make one giant book haul. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna take you guys to the bookstore with me. We're gonna go shopping for some books. First things first, guys, I wanted to show you all the fit, not because the fit is like cute because I literally just like threw on sweatpants, but because I'm obsessed with this tote bag, which literally says a bookworm's belongings and has a bunch of cute like bookworm stuff on it. And I got it from Redbubble and I'm literally obsessed with it. And I wanted to show you guys. Also, look, the sunshine came out, which is like kind of rude because I just went on a full rampage about how it was gray and rainy outside. And because of that, I was going to the bookstore. And in the time it took me to put like real pants on, the sun came out. So I guess, I guess that's what we're going with. <clears throat> so it's really freaking nice outside, but it's like sticky and humid because it's been raining all day. So we're gonna see if that phone stays there. I don't have a fancy little thing that like I can hook my phone up to. So I'm really, really balancing it. Let's go buy some books. I'm so excited. I actually don't let myself go to Barnes and Noble very often anymore because I really know that I can't leave without buying anything and I need to not be doing that all the time. Again, this isn't going to be like a haul haul because I don't have like significant funds to be able to buy 13,000 books, even though that is what I really want. I'm just going to go to the book talk table. That's what I'm going to do. I literally just saw a ground talk on the way over here. I had to pause for a second because my phone fell because I knew it was going to and but I saw one and I was like spring. It's because the sun came out. Balancing this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Anyway, I always tell myself I'm only gonna buy one book at the bookstore and then I end up buying like 10. So this whole thing is going to require some serious self-control today. It's gonna be fine. I don't like talking to my phone during red lights. I feel like people are watching me. Not a single person probably cares, but they're like, this bitch is literally doing a vlog right now. I'm gonna be like, what, me? No. Not that I care. When did the weather get so nice? How did this happen? I'm genuinely so confused. We literally had lost power this morning during the storm. Even this afternoon. I mean, the sunshine literally didn't come out until like 10 minutes ago. I don't understand. It's fine. While I have you guys here, we are starting Percy Jackson on the TikTok lives this evening and I'm so stoked. I guess our topic of conversation probably should shift over to what it is I'm going to buy. I really want the Terms and Conditions book because one of my good friends on Bookstagram, actually a handful of good friends on Bookstagram have recommended it. And since I'm trying to mix it up, I may branch out and see if I enjoy it, but we'll see. Me thinking I could film this without something to hold my phone on my dashboard or my windshield has been quite a comical experience. This phone has fallen like 13 times. It's fine. I have found a way to make this, I think, decently last. Although the angle is not ideal, that's what we're gonna go with because I think this is the only way it's gonna stay. And there have been one to really do vlogs, which is funny because I could probably talk to myself for like hours. So I've never been like, oh, I need to get one of those like car phone holder things. But now I'm thinking I may have to if I take you guys to the bookstore with me more often. Ugh, I don't know. I'm still confused on how the weather became so nice. Have I mentioned that yet? Um, excuse me, sir, you can't just pull out like that. I feel like nobody knows how to drive here. I'm probably one of those people, but I'm still gonna complain about everybody else. Even though I try not to do that because like you never know what someone's going through. 
like maybe they had to pull out like that because their wife just went into labor or something or they're late for their job like i know i'm a psychotic driver when i'm late to something oh maybe i'll go to chick-fil-a do i want chick-fil-a today mm, i don't know if i want that I don't actually like get chicken when I go to Chick-fil-A anymore because freshman year of college, I literally lived off Chick-fil-A and then was like, mm, I have had this way too much in my lifetime. It's kind of fun. I like that you guys are right there. I feel like this is actually safer than what I was doing beforehand. Oh, Barnes and Noble's like right here. What am I doing? I'm turning here too. Wow, I trying to get my phone to do what it was supposed to do has really made this adventure go by so much faster than I gave it credit for. Usually it takes forever to get through that stretch of road. Go on, person, you may walk. Are you going to get books too, sir? You're welcome. Go get something good to read, friend. This angle works great when I'm not driving. And as soon as I start driving, it's like, <laughs> no. Let's go buy some books. We are at the Barnes and Noble. It's time to have some self-control. It's time. Look at her. She's beautiful. Okay, so I started with these beautiful special editions of these books that they have. Literally, The Secret Garden. It's so freaky cute. I used to listen to this book on audiobook every single night when I was a kid before bed. I'm literally obsessed with all of these. I just want to put them all on a bookshelf and like own this collection. Next, I just like very naturally had to tempt myself by going over to this section where they have a bunch of like trinkets and like cute little bags and things and tapestries and there is a whole section of candles that I'm obsessed with because I need to risk spending more money. Then naturally I found my way over to the book talk section because it is my happy place and I did end up getting this one. This is where my very futile search for Pride and Prejudice came in, but I just am obsessed with these. Like, they're so freaking pretty. And of course, I had to make my way to my very favorite table, the Spice Talk table. Look at her. She is just really something, isn't she? Literally obsessed with every book on here. I want them all. Listen, guys, I am new to the rom-com table, but look at these covers. Like, it looks like such a happy place. They're so cute. Ah, yes, the Shrine to the Queen. Do you ever see a book or series that you just absolutely love and you just have to kiss it? Because me too, clearly. Now I'm departing from my happy place. Okay team, goods are secured. I literally had like a stack of like five books in my hand and I was like, you can't take that many, Kenley. You, you cannot take that many. So sadly I put Zodiac Academy back on the shelf. But I don't need a 10 book series right now. I, I, don't, I don't need that right now. So I was like, you know what, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm gonna get back to the house and then we will go over this mini book haul. That's what we'll call it, a mini book haul. I totally am stopping at Chick-fil-A because my mom gave me like $10 to get myself dinner. So how sweet is that? We are getting mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A, which if you haven't had the mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A, I highly recommend that you give it a try because it's oh, so good. Bag secured part two, baby. Let's go. Dinner and books tonight. We, we are doing well. We are doing, and the sunshine came out. I have returned. I literally did not get any of the books that I told myself I was going to get. And they didn't have Pride and Prejudice. Like, well, they did, but they didn't have like the cute, pretty version of Pride and Prejudice. They had like this, it was like a cover that was like, I don't know, it was like black and neon orange. And it's just like not the vibe of Pride and Prejudice. So I didn't get it because I didn't want to spend $25 on that when I could go to my Barnes and Noble at home, like away from college and get the pretty version. So I didn't even get that. But it's okay, because I got the rest of these. <laughs> Let's go into what I got today, and then I'll talk a little bit about ones that I've gotten in the past. I got this puppy. I've heard, why am I talking in a British accent? I've heard nothing but good things about this so far. I feel like I say that for every book. Like, obviously I bought it because I've heard nothing good about good, nothing but good things about it. I can't even speak. Pretty much I got it because of this. He has a heart of ice, but for her, he'd burn the world. Mm, that's like one of my favorite tropes ever. Like, mm, I hate everyone except her and I will rip your heart out if you touch her type of trope. That's my favorite. I'm excited to read this. Then I got 
Serpent and the Dove because I've seen fan art for this and I want it. I want to understand what that fan art means because it is so lovely. That is my motivation to purchasing this. The Silent Patient. Now this is like big mixing it up for me because this is a psycho thriller and it sounds really interesting. It's like about a wife who like shoots her husband randomly and then goes absolutely silent afterwards. And then this like psychotherapist tries to work with her to get like get her to talk about it basically, but she doesn't. It sounds really good. It's gotten really great reviews on Bookstagram. Now I don't really read reviews on Goodreads. So like, cause I don't want that to like ruin it. I want to make my own opinion, but I trust my friends on Booksta and they really liked this. So I am going to branch out, mix it up a little bit to keep the variety going. Um, and I'm excited. The one that I got a little bit ago is this puppy. This is the same author who writes A Touch of Darkness, which I haven't read yet, but I really want to read. Um, this was on the spicy book talk table and I love, I love the spice talk table. That is, that is a good place to be. I really wanted to get every book on the spice talk table, but I prevented myself from doing that because I had to limit myself to only a couple of books. So that's what I got today for my mini haul. Um, I'm really excited to dive into those. Of course, I have an entire, I think like most of that, that shelf right there are books that I need to read, except for like a couple on like this side. Cause that's like for blood and ash and stuff. And I've read those, but like that like chunk in the, in the middle right there, that's all like to be read. So did I need to get a mini haul? No. Did I do it anyway because it made me happy? Yes, I did. And the sunshine came out and I got Chick-fil-A. So all in all, I feel like it was a productive, solid day. And thank you guys for joining me on my book shopping adventure. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.